How's it going, bro? Welcome back to another video. Sorry if I sound very different. I'm currently suffering through hay fever season. I'm, I'm currently dying. I can barely breathe. I've got to use these bloody like nasal spray steroid things. Yeah, hey, this is not good. Today, I want to show kind of the major difference between Arch Linux and a more beginner friendly distro like Ubuntu. Although you could probably substitute Ubuntu with like Debian or with like Linux Mint. It's like all basically the same, but in the very first major difference between the two distros is the design philosophy. So Arch Linux is a very like DIY, do it yourself distro. And it's kind of like known for that. When you install Arch Linux, it's done in a way where if you're following the instructions on the Arch Wiki, it's very like not 100% clear. It's not saying like, like it will just say edit file instead of typing type vim and then this file. So it's it kind of assumes that you already have like a lot of prerequisite knowledge. And and as a result, if you're trying to install Arch, it's kind of expected that you know a little bit. Is that you know a, at least a decent amount of that a, that you know a, at least that you know at least a decent amount of Linux before delving into it. And that also you as the user are responsible for maintaining your system and just making sure it's all you know working and it's all fine. Likewise. When you install it, there's like nothing. There's basically nothing. It's just a black terminal screen and you got to figure out what programs to download, what kind of setup you want. So it's all, it's completely DIY. Ubuntu on the other hand is very beginner friendly in terms of that when you install it, it's very beginner friendly. You just click buttons. Yes, I want this or this or that. I want to install it here, but it's all very simple. You don't really have to do anything complicated and it provides you with an entire desktop environment. Programs installed, like everything that you could need as a, like a basic user, it's already there. So Arch is designed in a way that it allows you, the user, to like create your system to how you want it. Where Ubuntu has a system that is already developed, it's already made, all the programs are installed and it will be managed for you as a result being a lot more beginner friendly. And again, with the installation process, very similar. Arch, you got to do everything yourself. Ubuntu, just click some buttons and it just works like that. Arch, everything is done for a live USB and through the terminal. Whereas Ubuntu is a graphical installer. So everything, you know, you just click the buttons and it works. The next major difference is the package manager. One of the biggest differences between Arch and Ubuntu is that Arch is a rolling release distribution, whereas Ubuntu uses a release base model, which means that Arch, there is no arch one arch two arch three like how there's like ios one ios two ios three or whatever or debian five debian six debian seven no arch is just arch like technically it's like the kernel version but it's not really like there's no version of arch there's just arch the second that there's a new update for one of the programs you have you can literally install it on arch like like that there's no caveats Ubuntu and other similar distributions will have a release model where there'll be Ubuntu 25 or 6 or 27 or whatever. They'll have some version, maybe even with like a name. And in that, they'll, that's when they'll release like the big changes, the big updates to the, to the major programs and this and that. As a result, it's a lot more stable. It's very unlikely that you're going to have some break from a huge update. But also the updates are a lot less frequent. Whereas on Arch, you can literally get the latest update like that. The major difference between the package managers is that Arch is a lot more unstable in this way, although it doesn't happen that often. And I made a video about Arch talking about whether it is as unstable as people make it out to be. Although one thing is guaranteed is that Ubuntu will definitely be more stable. It's, although I don't, I disagree that Arch is not unstable. Ubuntu will be more stable than Arch. Now, in terms of the software repositories, Arch Linux and Ubuntu use two different sources for their software. And Arch, besides having their main software repository where it's already got quite where it's already got like a lot of the programs that you could probably ever want to install they also have something called the aur or the arch user repository the aur essentially is, is like user submitted packages so essentially if you didn't find a package in the main software like the official software repository then it's very likely that it'll be in the aur and although technically the aur because of this can be more dangerous and etc in reality, it's very rare. And honestly, a lot of people use Arch Linux just because of the AUR, because when you have the AUR and the official repository, there's almost no package that you'd want to install that isn't available. And the benefit of this is that you don't have to manually install like almost any program. If you want some kind of program, you can check the official repositories, if not the AUR. And if it's in the AUR, you can literally just install like how you would install any other program instead of having to manually install the software for yourself, which can be a bit of a pain. Ubuntu also has a pretty big software repository, although it's very likely that it won't be as extensive as Arch's repositories. Now, in terms of the community and support, I'd say that they're practically the same. However, I have to say that Arch has one of the best wikis out there where it doesn't even have to specifically be about Arch, but about like random programs that you might be trying to install. It usually has the best resources for trying to install 
or or how to troubleshoot issues that might occur. Ubuntu, however, does have a large community base. Therefore, if you run into issues with Eva Distro, both of the communities are large enough that it's hard to say like, oh, one community is better. Like it'll probably be about the same. Although the Arch community is smaller, I would say the amount of people that understand how to fix certain issues that might occur is probably larger than Ubuntu because although there's a lot more Ubuntu users, it's very likely that most of them won't be able to solve your issue if you have one because they don't really understand the OS themselves. So at the end of the day, Arch Linux is a distro that's very DIY, very minimalist. It assumes that you have a decent amount of knowledge with the terminal and Linux and that you're comfortable kind of working around it. The great thing about Arch Linux then is that you have very high control of your operating system and what is occurring. Ubuntu, on the other hand, is designed for people that want to prioritize stability, ease of use, and just overall want a more guided experience. Now, if you're interested in Arch, you're going to have to download some kind of window manager or desktop environment and you want to get it you know, customized to look nice. Let's say like you like how my setup looks like or something like that. You know, you want to be able to open up the terminal type of NeoFetch and have like the Arch logo and all that. But again, you kind of don't know where to start in terms of customizing and, and all that. You can book a free consultation call with me top link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, helps me out. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.